Hey guys, this is Eric from FinalCutStudioSchool.com and I had a question about how do I track shapes or masks to something I want to mask out or how do I track something to that? It's hard going frame by frame. Well, okay, well I might have something that's going to help you out here, okay? So I have this picture of just this living room and it's just a table that's scrolling across the screen, okay? First thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a sh basic sh white shape and lay on top of it and show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go up to Shape, Create Shape, I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to go in here, and I'm just going to create a basic square around this, okay? When I say square, I mean a basic roto shape around at certain points, you know. Well, this is just a demonstration. Let me go through here and show you what I'm meaning. This little tool will help you, not all the time, but this little tool will help you track shapes and stuff in motion. It's helped me quite a lot, actually. Now, I'm not going to worry about cutting out this flower. You all get the main idea of it, right? Okay, now we've got this shape. Now, what if we want to track this shape with the table as it, as it scrolls? because you can see it goes offline. We're going to have to go through there and frame by frame and do this? No. Go to Behavior, scroll down to Shape, and under Shape, you'll see Track Points. Now, this will apply a tracker wherever a point is in your shape. Boom. Now, you can see you can have a tracker all around wherever I place my points. Now, you can go into your inspector and play with all kinds of your adjustments, from auto zoom to how many frames it's going to look ahead, to align targets, you can mimic source, you can attach to source, you can do all different kinds of things. But for this purposes, I want to keep everything stock. You all can go in and fool with what all the settings mean. I'm just going to hit analyze. Now it's analyzing, as you can see, it's going through. And when it's going through, it's going through and tracking and adjusting this shape. As you can see, as you see it's adjusting the shape for me as I go through here and scroll through and it tracks. So let this track a few minutes, a few a few frames here. You can see it's over halfway done. Now this is an extremely well use of trackers. This uses as many trackers as you need. A lot of people only use two, three, four trackers, but trackers are meant to be used. Use them. Look how many we got going on here. I've I've outlined com people completely in in uh, tracking points before. Just completely outlined them. So now, as you can see, since I went through that and applied that behavior, that table goes right along with my camera scrolling whereas it didn't used to you can see the track points are right on you know and if one fails no big deal because there's so many more to help it along okay there's one example let's get rid of everything let's get rid of our tracker points and get rid of our shape now let's apply a mask let's go in and apply a mask same way works with a mask this time I'm just going to do the top of this table here. I'll just do four points. Okay, now we have this mask. I'm going to turn my corners into linear. Now we have this square. So now I want to go up, add behavior, shape, track points. This will throw a tracker up at each point that I made. Now I can analyze. Now it's going to go through, as you can see, zip. Not doing nothing by hand, no manual nothing. Now this is a feature that Motion has that I wish Shake had. When the new phenomenon comes out, it'll probably be priced at about $1,000. It's going to have Shake and Motion together. It's going to have all the things you love about Motion mixed in with all the things you love about Shake. You're going to be able to access layers. You're going to be able to access node view like in Shake. It's going to be spectacular. So everything you see in Shake, just imagine an application with motion and Shake mixed with the best of both worlds taken from each app. That's what the next professional compositing app from Apple is going to be like. And this is one of the feature sets in motion that just I love to death. Now you can see that mask is tracked. You know, you might need to go in and adjust it somewhat, depending on your tracking points, but that mask is pretty much basically roughly tracked right to the top of my table there. Very, very good way to get things going, to get things started. Just a track points behavior. It's all you got to do. So, 
I hope this has helped you guys with, with a lot of things. I hope if you have any questions, you'll get a hold of me. Um, there's uh, If you want to try one more, we can, just to make sure you got it. Let's bring this one in. And how about we just see if it'll work on one of these um, tops here. Well, I'll tell you what. That's just too much work. This is intended to be a quick tip. So there you go, guys. That's how you track um, shapes and masks to your objects using the behavior. The behavior is under shape. It's called track points. It'll put a tracker wherever you place a point of a shape. So I uh, hope this has helped, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.